guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining me today thank you to everybody who comes here repeatedly to watch my videos if you've subscribed if you've not whatever it is thank you for always watching to those who comment thank you for leaving your lovely comments i always love to interact with you in the comment section so today guys we're going to be talking about cold weather perfumes and this channel before i start is scent solutions my name is Anne. all we do here is talk about perfume so welcome on board okay so i have a number of perfumes i actually was thinking of breaking this video into two parts i have some affordables i have designer and i have niche but today we're going to do designer edition of my cold weather perfumes so these are perfumes that i would wear when the weather is really cold perfumes that are suited for that very intense cold weather and when i say cold weather perfumes to be honest i'm thinking perfumes that will last perfumes that are really strong perfumes that are of very high you know concentration so generate a sense of warmth i'm thinking sometimes maybe sweet more than fresh yeah because i find that sweeter perfumes tend to create that scent bubble that cocoon around you um and it feels a lot warmer or they feel a lot warmer than your typical freshies so freshies to me fare better when the weather is hot and you just want to feel light and airy so without further ado i've already rambled too much let's get straight to it i'll start with the laundry d line because i think that this is the epitome of what a cold weather fragrance should be so in my collection i've got the laundry d rouge and the laundry d eau de parfum these perfumes are more tuberous forward so there's a lot of tubers in here although they're both done quite differently so this one has tubers it has i think what's it called now the pimento leaf that gives it a bit of greenness and spiciness this one is the older perform still a tubers for the very dark sexy tubers so both perfumes to me have this very dark very sultry very sexy quality these are perfumes i would wear to a date these are perfumes i would wear to an event especially in the evening uh, i could also wear this during the day but it would be fewer sprays these ones have very good longevity they have very good sillage they also create that very warm enveloping feeling when you wear them so the laundry line for me is extremely suited for the cold weather okay another perfume that i think is absolutely gorgeous in this time this is a bit of an oldie but it's a goodie for me and that is a boucheron or the perfume now this one is so nostalgic because it reminds me of the 80s right these were the kind of perfumes our moms wore in the 80s in the 90s and it is so gorgeous to me i saw it i think i saw it on sale or something i can't remember exactly how i bought it but when i saw it i knew i had to have it because it was stunning now this one has that typical dna of perfumes that were made in the 80s 90s they would have so many notes and everything you know this has that kind of dna it gets quite powdery it starts off with a whole bunch of citrus fragrances there's some florals in there there's some woody notes at the base it's a very strong very elegant very present perfume yes if you don't like you know vintage leaning fragrances you might not like this one because it has that soapy aldehydic feel somewhere in between but when it starts to dry down that powderiness and all the interplay of notes just come through and it is stunning to me love 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 this and i think that this makes for a very very sexy cold weather perfume again this is one that i would wear to a night event so like a a, a black tie event at night in cold weather would be stunning so i love this for that elegance for creating that very womanly elegant 
old Hollywood glamour. Now, next up, I have one that is not, I don't really hear too many people talk about this, or maybe it's had its day and I'm the one who's late to the party, who knows. But this is Lady Million by Paco Rabanne. This perfume reminds me a whole lot of Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. So this is a very sweet floral fragrance. It's so sweet. It is very present. It is very long lasting. It has such good projection. This one will just envelop you in that sweet scent bubble. It's amazing for cold weather. I can imagine smelling this on my clothes. I can imagine smelling this all around me when it's cold. This is a very, very sweet party girl type fragrance. I would wear this during the day. I would wear it at night. I don't really care, you know, but Lady Million is one that I call my party girl fragrances. In fact, I put Lady Million and Good Girl in the same group. I remember when I first reviewed it, they, those two fragrances to me are nights out in the club. I want to smell good. I want everybody to know I'm here. I want to walk into the room and have people ask me what I'm wearing. So Lady Million by Paco Rabanne for me is great for cold weather. It generates the kind of heat that I want in cold weather. Now, another one, and this one is one that I respect a lot. <laughs> it's a perfume for me that I, I feel like has dual personalities, and that's Nina Ricci Lex Stars. There's also the Lex Stars Rose Absolute. I didn't bring that out, but uh, they're both in the same direction of being dark, very, very sexy, sultry rose fragrances. They lean a bit Middle Eastern to me, even though they're not necessarily Middle Eastern fragrances, but they kind of have that oody touch to them, right? I almost feel like there's incense in this fragrance. So it's a very different take on a rose fragrance. Really, really nice. I think it's got some praline in it as well. So there's that sweetness that comes through as the perfume evolves on your skin and you're getting that with all the other notes. It's amazing. Now, this perfume for me is very cold weather appropriate. It has that ethereal, very, very uh, elegant but sexy quality so just walking into a room and owning it this perfume will do it for you and it's at a very good price point so this is one of francis kirkjohn's creations and you know that he does perfumes very well so i love this perfume i love to wear it when the weather is cold i love to wear it when you know i can really really enjoy all the facets of the perfume and i find that when i wear it in hot weather it gets a bit cloying you won't get that experience when you wear it in cold weather so nina ricci like stars absolutely stunning for the cold okay now this one i don't talk about too much on my channel but i do have it in my collection and this is a fruity white floral vanilla fragrance this is i want you by jimmy chu stunning fragrance again another one that reminds me of good girl by carolina herrera you know floral fragrances can come off a bit too serious and boring sometimes but i think they found a way to make this one very very pretty so it has some peach and mandarin there's some white florals in the middle there's vanilla so it's a predominantly vanillic fragrance at least in the dry down but i find this one to be very 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 comforting especially in cold weather I wear it when i feel like i might even get into snuggles you know it's very good for snuggle weather it's just fruity it's floral it's sweet it's not anything groundbreaking i mean it's not like what you've not smelled before but I find this to be very versatile. I can wear it anywhere. I can wear it to work. I can wear it out. It will transition very well from day to night. So Jimmy Choo, I want you cold weather approved. Now, this one, La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This La Belle is, again, another take on vanilla. It's got some pear in it as well. So it's a very sweet fragrance this one I've, i think i spoke about this perfume when i talked about my most complimented perfumes i find that a lot of 
men gravitate towards this scent for some reason or at least the men that i come in contact with really really like this perfume <laughs> so i don't know what it is about it but it's really sweet it has vanilla and it's not your average vanilla fragrance it doesn't smell like pure vanilla essence no the pear notes and all the other notes in it just give it a bit of a unique scent that i like and again i find this sweater weather appropriate okay next on the line is one also that i don't really get to talk about too often and it is Twilly de Mez au Poivre. this one has pink pepper rose and patchouli it just smells very unique you know i haven't really smelled anything like this before it's spicy it's got that rose at the heart there's the patchouli to give it some balance and earthiness i just think that this is different it's different it's elegant it's that kind of perfume where you're not going to smell like everyone else in the room right and it lasts so long so i really like this for cold weather because it has presence you know and it's spicy you know cold weather and spiciness kind of go hand in hand where i come from in nigeria we have something we call pepper soup and you know we use a lot of spices local very aromatic spices to make that pepper soup it could be made with fish or chicken and when it's cold you just want to tuck into like a bowl of chicken pepper soup or fish pepper soup and warm your body and that's what spices that's kind of like the feeling spices generate in perfumes in cold weather it's just a very warming feeling and this does that so twili dermes cold weather and this is the twili dermes au poivre by the way okay next up i have another one that i really really love this is musk noir rose it's for her by narciso rodriguez again this is a musky rose got a little bit of tubers in it it's an amazing fragrance this one i think is wearable year-round actually so for me it's not just cold weather i wear this when it's hot when it's cold it just has a very understated sexiness to it it's not loud it's not in your face but it's sexy it's it's elegant <laughs> it's just it's that kind of perfume where you wear it and you know you smell good, right? And you're good to just step into the world and conquer. That's what this perfume is for me. It stays really close to the skin, but I mean, in staying close to the skin, it generates a very warm, very um, sexy, musky feeling. And I like that. Okay, next up we have... YSL Libre Le Parfum. You know this list will not be complete without a YSL fragrance, right? This one is just Lavender Vanilla Perfection. I love this perfume. It is, for me, this one and the Libre Le Parfum are the best takes on YSL Libre. I did like the first one, the Eau de Parfum, but that one to me leaned a bit more masculine than the rest. This one is heavier on the vanilla than the lavender and i find this perfume to be one of the most elegant sophisticated and just well formulated perfumes ysl does perfumes right in my opinion especially vanillas and this is one of their best creations in my opinion from the gorgeousness of this bottle to the way the juice looks it looks like cognac right it's just it's amazing i love it i love this perfume whenever i wear it i just know that i smell good i you know i don't need to validate that from anybody i know that i am killing it right <laughs> so yeah this is of course going to appear in any cold weather perfume because why not why not look at this gorgeousness why not Okay, next up, we have one that, I mean, we all know about this perfume, right? So, Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. Why I like this for cold weather is 
that it has a coffee caramel note in it and for me it just makes me feel like i'm drinking a latte you know so it's on a cold it's a cold day i'm sitting in a cafe drinking a latte that sort of thing that's like the imagery that comes to mind when i use this so i like to wear it when it's cold because it generates that warm warm feeling that a cafe would generate when you're in it and taking coffee or taking tea or whatever that's what this represents to me and i love it now next on the line i have one that i don't get to talk about too much on my channel but I've, i have like a travel size of it and that is deep euphoria by calvin klein i'm going to put the picture of the bottle on top just so you can see i love this perfume i really really love deep euphoria by calvin klein this again is another perfume that has that fresh warm spicy note it has fresh spicy accords it has warm spicy accords it's rosy it's woody those kinds of perfumes would generally work well in cold weather i love this one it smells so so good it has white pepper it has rose it has geranium jasmine there's woody notes there's musk it has everything that is going to create that warm comforting feeling absolutely amazing it doesn't get talked about too much but i love 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 this perfume for cold weather it is extremely gorgeous it's going to leave you in a beautiful scent bubble for a long time I, I think that one lasts about five maybe about four or five hours i mean yeah another one along those lines is one again that i have in a travel space sorry i'm trying to get it out of the pack this is a ysl black opium but this is the sorry this is the older perform extreme so this one feels like you're drinking black coffee again it's that thing i said with the only one it's the feeling of being in a cafe and just drinking a warm beverage to warm yourself up in cold weather when something generates that feeling i want to wear it when the weather is cold and that's what black opium in general anything from the black opium line does that for me but i find that the extreme version is very effective in generating that warmth for me even more so than the others so i love 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 this and i recommend it for cold weather if you're a black opium fan now this one is new, slightly new in my collection. I haven't really talked about it before. And that is Mystic Shima by Michael Kors. This is a very spicy vanilla fragrance that I am loving. It is amazing, guys. This is an amazing rendition of a vanilla fragrance. This is spicy. It is sweet. It is just it if you like vanilla if you like a vanilla fragrance and you're able to stand that spiciness in the opening mystic shimmer is the bomb i'm going to talk about it more in another video but this one is cold weather approved this is that vanillic fragrance that just makes you feel like licking yourself <laughs> basically it is amazing for cold weather and i love it okay now next up on the line i think we have one or two more to go well this is an i don't know whether to call this an oldie with the way perfumes come out these days one doesn't even know what to think but this is good girl by carolina herrera the gorgeous good girl the gorgeous stiletto i love this perfume now what i love about this is the sweetness the tonka at the base especially there's something about tonka that in cold weather does it for me it's warm it's spicy it's just in general a very sweet out there could be obnoxious in a way but if your aim is to be noticed this is gonna get you noticed if your aim is to have your perfume last and last and last this is going to do that for you. So for me, this is a very easy reach in cold weather. It will see you through the day. It will keep you warm. It will do all the things. Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. 
here i think last on my list is one from a house that i'm really enjoying in recent times and this is bell by al haramain al haramain that line is affordable but they make some really good perfumes guys they do and if you're into the middle eastern fragrances because i'm recently discovering a lot of very beautiful middle eastern fragrances if you're interested or you're curious enough about middle eastern fragrances this is the bomb this one reminds me of Givenchy's dahlia divine actually it has that black currant note so it's really sweet i actually did think there was a vanilla note in here but in the notes it doesn't show vanilla what it shows is sandalwood sweet notes and musk at the base but i feel like there's vanilla somewhere maybe it's in the sweet notes i don't know there's black currant there's orange there's grapefruit there's melon apricot it has a cornucopia of fruits but it is absolutely stunning it doesn't really project that's the only downside of this perfume but it's to you know how fruity perfumes can be sometimes or you know how it is that a perfume has so many layers and as you get to the next layer it gets sweeter and powdery and then it gets it feels a lot more comforting as the layers go on and on and on and that's what i get with this perfume just a very beautiful rich sweetness beautiful powdery feeling absolutely amazing this is an entry-level middle eastern fragrance if you don't want to be knocked over by oods and all that and you just want a fragrance that makes you feel girly elegant pretty bell by our is your jam guys that's it for the designer edition of my cold weather perfumes i hope you enjoyed this i hope you enjoyed this collection i look forward to hearing from you in the comments i would love to know what you're wearing this fall and winter so thank you so much for watching guys if you watch till this point if you haven't subscribed and you like this content don't hesitate to click the subscribe button the notification bell as well to let you know when i post a new video till i see you on another video guys thank you so much for watching bye